What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, do yourself a favor and click that subscribe button. Uh, we have a lot of cool stuff going on today. Um, as you guys could tell by the title and thumbnail, yes, we are modifying um, the Stradman's old Corvette, which is now Chandler's Corvette. I'm going to leave his YouTube channel in the description. All right, you guys have seen this car in my last couple videos. Um, I've done, I believe, two videos on it so far, and this is gonna be the third. In the last video, we talked a little bit about doing the white pin striping and then also an exhaust system. So I've reached out to two companies so far on the exhaust, um, still waiting to hear back from them. And then on the pin striping, that just barely arrived, so I'm gonna be doing that today. Still don't know exactly what all I'm gonna pinstripe on this thing. I'm thinking doing a little bit here on the side vent and then some on the ground effects, but slight problem. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a problem, but up here, this is like plastic, so I don't know if the wrap's gonna stick to that or if it's gonna look good on that. As you can see, it's got a pretty rough texture to it, so I'm not completely sure how it's gonna stick to that, but I think that I might do some of these up here. Um, I'm just gonna kind of play around with it a little bit, and then if you guys see any parts of this car that you think should have some white on it, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Okay, so first thing I gotta do is give this car a quick wash, um, and you guys already have seen that in the video, so uh, it's gonna be this fast for you. Boom, just like that. Details done, completely. Um, so now, it's time for the vinyl. This is the part that I've been so excited for, guys. I've wanted to do this for so long. I'm seriously so excited about this, you guys. Enough talk, though. Let's get started on this car. I'm so excited, like I said. This is seriously so sick, what? Look at this. This ground effect is done, and oh my gosh guys, this looks so good. Just look at this. I'm sorry, we don't have a lot of room in the garage, and I kind of like have the vacuum out from getting the detail, but uh, other than that, don't mind that, mind that. Uh, that looks so good. Guys, just look at that. Okay, for those of you that don't know how knifeless tape works, basically what it is, is it's that tiny little string inside of this tape, and so you put it on there, and then that string is able to cut through the vinyl once you lay it over the top. So it's a really handy tape to use when you're doing car wraps and stuff, so if you guys ever want to do something like this, make sure to get some. The one that I'm using is called Design Line. As you can see, it's made by 3M. That just allows you to get tighter corners like that one. Um, so now I just gotta measure out the vinyl, put it on there, make sure that I get all the bubbles out and everything, and then I will be able to show you guys a demonstration of the knifeless tape. Um, this stuff's amazing. Right here you guys can see the knifeless tape underneath. Where it has that little bump right in the center, that's where, the, that's where it's gonna cut it.
The knifeless tape ended about here, so I just pulled it up and then I just took the blade and cut it. And now I'm going to be able to pull all of this out. Okay, and then the knifeless tape, you just gotta pull the green tape out. There we go. And then there's gonna be another one on the other side. We'll just pull that out. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna make sure that I have it all sealed down where that tape was underneath. And there you guys go, that's how you do knife this tape. I'm just gonna have to go in here and trim out some of this and then just roll it over because this is the skinny side. This car is seriously just getting better and better, guys. With this white pinstripe at the bottom and then this one on the vent, it's really complementing these the white wheels. And then I think that I'm gonna do a little bit on the mirror, possibly, I don't know for sure yet. And then I gotta find somewhere up front, like I said earlier in the video, because I don't think it's gonna really wanna stick to this plastic stuff. But I was thinking either going across that thing or else right here there's these and go across and then down. Take a look at this. Wow, oh my gosh. That looks so much more aggressive. You can see some more body lines coming out of the car like that piece before. No one could ever see it. It's only something like you barely see it in person. Um, and everyone just kind of like looks over it. So now I kind of have that piece to where it's standing out. Okay, now I'm gonna do this part right here. Let's see if I can get this to work. No way guys, it actually worked. Oh my gosh, I'm like way better at wrapping stuff now. I was able to just like snap and it just goes, oh, where'd it go? Oh. There it is, sweet. Okay, yep, it works. So that's how I'm gonna actually finish off the car on this side. Here we go, I'm so happy that I found this new way of wrapping. This is so much easier. Here we go, three, two, one. That is so much easier, oh my gosh, guys. Wrapping a car that way is so much better. Like, look how fast that was. No, I'm totally just kidding. It's like, it's getting later now, and uh, I still have the whole back of this car to do, but the whole front end is looking so good. I, I wish I could do that splitter down here, but I just can't because that material. So hopefully, uh, maybe we could upgrade that to like a carbon fiber splitter, or maybe even just painted like the rest of the car. Uh, so that's something that I might talk to Chandler about. It looks really cool how the, how the white drops down here. And then you can see it goes underneath the car almost, like in that way. And then it literally looks like at this angle that it perfectly shoots out. And then it, like it continues going right here and it's the same piece, even though it's not. That's kind of what it looks like. That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. Okay, so I kind of had a cool idea. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up wrapping on this body line right here and uh, we're just gonna kind of follow down with that. So 
it's gonna be like this tiny little piece right here in white. So I think that's gonna look really good because it's not gonna be like too much white. And then also, it's just gonna look clean when you look across the top edge of this because I won't have to have a seam somewhere where like the two wraps come together. Usually you would do that like down here on this bottom corner and you wouldn't really know. But I think that this is just gonna turn out a lot cleaner. I really like the way that this turned out. It just, like I said earlier, it's not too much. It's just like the right amount. And uh, it really helps complement those wheels because it's like right above them. So it's happening again. Uh, it's so late that Chandler's not gonna make it today. So uh, he'll be here tomorrow morning and then I'll finish the video tomorrow and then hopefully get it uploaded for you guys. This is so sick though. I love the way that this turned out. We're gonna clean up the garage a little bit and just make it presentable for him when he gets here. And then I gotta clean up a little bit of fingerprints and stuff, super easy. Uh, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. How are you? Nice to see you again. Yeah. It's been a while. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, dude, I think it turned out great. Really? Honestly, we were showing like my whole family and everything, so. That's pretty what do you rowdy. Think? <laughs> That's wild, man. That is sick. I think it really just ties it all together. Yeah. So that is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to play around with it? Um, probably a good eight hours. Really? Yeah. <laughs> did you try a bunch of stuff that you didn't like? Or? No, I ended up liking everything that I did. Um, there was a couple things that I was like, maybe I should do, like the mirrors. Yeah. But then I was just like a little worried that it would look too much like Tron, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to keep it clean, but like make it look right, you know. That's pretty so. rowdy. All right, dude, we'll see ya. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Sweet, man. It sounds so good. It does sound good. We are going to do an exhaust very soon, and uh, I'm so happy about that. I'm happy with the way that this all turned out. Um, Make sure that you guys go check out Chandler's channel. I'm gonna have it linked down below in the description. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.